Russia's Rosober 1 export will unveil the upgraded version of Armada tank at IDEX 2021 show, taking place in Abu Dhabi, UAE, in February 21-25. This will be the first time the tank will be shown at a foreign event, Russian media have reported. Last year, in August, Russian experts said they are planning to outfit the latest T-14 Armada tanks with new unmanned turret with a 152mm cannon it currently has a 125mm gun, supersonic sub-caliber armor piercing projectiles, fuel air explosive munitions, missiles based on the fire and forget and fire Augen principle and an onboard reconnaissance and signal relay drone, according to TASS. Military specialists propose enhancing the Armada's protection with the system of remotely neutralizing homing anti-tank projectiles, the technology of automatically detecting and striking targets in probable areas of tank approaches at a distance of up to 1 km, the laser equipment of disabling anti-tank guided missile guidance and the system of remotely deactivating anti-tank mines. The tank's upgrade will also improve its all-out shielding against rocket-propelled grenade launchers and anti-tank guided missiles and enhance electronics protection against electromagnetic and microwave weapons. It will include the systems of changing the armored vehicle's signature and its defense against blinding laser weapons. The upgrade will also qualitatively boost the crew's situational awareness for accomplishing assignments successfully in a multi-domain operational environment of the future. In particular, the crew will get an advanced decision-making support system with the technology of automatically identifying targets at a distance of over 6 km and transparent armor. The other requirements for the upgraded Armada include a more efficient 1,500 horsepower diesel engine, dual manual control of weapons and the engine and also improved ergonomics and habitability to provide for the crew's continuous operation round the clock. The T-14 Armada is a Russian fifth-generation main battle tank based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform. The tank is operated by a three-member crew from an armored capsule at the front. According to the Russian state media, it is the first tank in the world to incorporate network-centric warfare technologies. The T-14 can be used as a reconnaissance, target designation and fire adjustment vehicle for self-propelled guns, surface-to-air missile systems and T-90 tanks. The T-14 Armada tank has the strongest armor protection any other tank has ever built, giving it the ability to withstand direct blasts from 120mm cannon shells, 100-150mm anti-tank missiles and grenade launchers. The T-14 has been painted with anti-slip coating, and features a lavatory to provide comforts to the crew during long combat missions. The T-14 tank based on the Armada platform was shown to the public for the first time at Red Square's Victory Day Parade on May 9, 2015. The new combat vehicle features fully digitized equipment, an unmanned turret and an isolated armored capsule for the crew.